Um, then I worked at uh, Forex, um, the beer, the brewery. Uh, really good job. I was the point of contact for all the sponsorships. So I saw these athletes, Broncos, Reds, Bulls, Cowboys, State of Origin, Wallabies. I had to look after them all. And, uh, and I saw a lot of athletes that just had no idea about what, how the world worked in terms of A, how lucky they were, lucky in the sense that they were getting paid really good money, particularly when professionalism kicked in in, in the late 90s, um, they're getting really good money to do something that they love, but um, on the surface of their behaviour and everything else, they uh, didn't seem to appreciate it too much, which is neither right or wrong, it's just what it is. So. Um, when I finished at Forex, I started um, putting together programs that tried to close that gap between um, what they thought their world was and what their world really was. And the real gap there is around uh, what people, what I've described as what people buy into. So what people, yes we might admire somebody who can run and kick and pass or bowl fast or hit a tennis ball fantastically well but beyond that there's all these other things that um, go into making them popular, um, go into making them marketable and in another sense go into making them happy. Um, where, where you've got choices, good, bad and indifferent. What do you do? Once again, the same way with the hanging around doing nothing versus going and achieving, there's no right and wrong in that. It's simply a matter of what works for you. So when you talk about soul, I talk about values, uh, non-negotiables, I talk about uh, what, what you stand for. So you ask a lot of professional athletes, create balance right? because like you said if you're just concentrating on one thing your career and base everything on that then you only have one leg and yeah Michael yeah is pretty insightful I had um, pretty good knowledge knowledge about what structures in life and how he believes to, to be a more self and competent person with um, being successful or even non-successful and how to be just a better person. Try to stay above the lane, instead of under the lane. Oh, Michael is such a great bloke. Um, his session that we just had was just phenomenal. Um, just, ba uh, just basic life, uh, life skills that we need to learn as, as athletes and as, just, as young men growing up. Um, him teaching us you know, the ways of, of, of uh, being stable in life and having a, a, a firm foundation is, is unbelievable. So it was really good.